So in this video, I'm going to go over arithmetic operations in a computer. You know, we've gone over arithmetic operations by hand, but how do you make a computer do A minus B? You know, how do you design a circuit to do that? While it's easy for us to handle using uh, you know, carryovers, it's much harder to design a circuit to do A minus B. And in the last video, we learned about something called the two's complement system, which allows us to take a number and write it in signed form. Now, why this is useful is because we can rewrite the expression A minus B. We can rewrite this expression as A plus negative B. And since we know how to design circuits to add easily, we can simply find out negative B and then add A and negative B together. And we already know how to represent negative B using two's complement system. So let's do a problem. Let's do 7 minus 5. Now, what is 7 minus 5? So let's start out by representing these numbers in two's complement form. So remember, we have a sine bit, sine complement bit, and th we need three bits to represent seven. So for seven, our sine bit's just going to be zero because it's positive, positive. and our field is just going to be seven because the sine complement bit is zero. We don't have to complement the number. So this number is equal to positive seven, and then. We're going to take negative 5. We need three magnitude field bits to represent negative 5. And it's going to have a sine complement bit of 1. That makes the number negative, but that means we also take, have to take the complement of 5 here. So let's take the complement of 5. But first, let's convert it to binary. So 5 base 10 equals 101 base 2. And then we need to convert 101 base 2 into its two's complement form, and we can do this quickly by flipping all the bits and adding one. So 0, 1, 1, 2 complement equals 1, 0, 1, 2. Now if you don't know how to do that, or you don't understand how I did it so quickly, uh, you can use the formal approach if you remember that, and if you don't know about that, go check out my last videos about taking the complement of a number. So now we put 0, 1, 1, we take this number here, and we can put it into this field, 0, 1, 1. So this number represents negative 7 in 2's complement system. So now we add the two together. We end up with 0, carry over 1, carry over 0, carry over 0, 1. So we end up with what? 5 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this last bit you can throw out. Okay, you can throw this bit out. We don't need it. I'm going to make a trash can. So we're going to throw that bit out, and we're left with this, 0, 0, 1, 0. And we know that this bit here is the sine complement bit, and the rest of the bit is the magnitude field. So the answer to this one is just plus 0, 1, 0, 2, which is equal to positive 2 base 10. And that's our solution. So 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Alright, simple enough. Let's do another example. Let's do one that's a bit harder. Let's do, um, you know, we'll do the same thing, same numbers, 5 minus 7. You know, what is 5 minus 7? So let's start out with 5. Uh, let's represent 5 in 2's complement form. That's just going to be 0 and we're going to have the magnitude since the complement is 0. So 1, 0, 1 is equal to positive 5. And let's do negative 7 now. So the complement sine bit on this one's going to be 1. That means we need the 2's complement of 7. So first let's convert 7 into base 2, which is going to be 1, 1, 1. We need 3 bits. And then we need to find out what 1, 1, 1 base 2 is and 2's complement form, which is just going to be uh, 
zero, zero, one. And two's complement is equal to one, one, one. Base two. So we're going to put that in here, zero, zero, one. Add the two together. Get zero, carry over one, one, one. And in this case, we don't have an extra bit, but we have a negative sign negative sign and complement bit set. So that means our answer uh, is the two's complement of the magnitude field. Because notice that our answer is still in two's complement system. Uh, we put it in two's complement system, we get two's complement system out. So, you know, quick diagrams, maybe clear that up. We put it in two's complement, we get an output that's in two's complement take it out of two's complement system to get our actual answer. So this would be, you know, here, here, and now we still need to find our answer. And in the last case, since the zero bit was set, our answer was equal to the magnitude field. But here we have a sign complement bit set. So we need to, first, the answer is going to be negative, but then we need to take the complement of the magnitude field. So let's take the complement of 1102 is equal to what? Two's complement. So let's flip all the bits. We're going to end up with uh, an add one. So it's 0, 1, 0. Two's complement is equal to 1, 1, 0, 2. So our answer is here. And it's going to be equal to 2. So our answer is negative uh, 0, 1, 0, base 2, or negative. 2 base 10.